Hello, my fellow gargoyles. Welcome back to some more Mario Kart tier list. This time it's Mario Kart Wii. And we're going to go through all 16 of them, not 32, because the other 16 is just remakes or just old tracks coming into the Wii. So, we're going to go through this 16 tracks of Mario Kart. So, I don't know what came first, so we're just going to go in order. I'm going to try my best to even know what the hell they are, because I don't like the whole circle thing. So I'll try to go with the ones I can remember right now. Like, for instance, Mushroom Gorge. To me, Mushroom Gorge is okay. It's just it's just an interesting track, just bumping off of uh, the mushrooms. Overall, it's just an okay track for me. Um, let's see, next up is Daisy Circuit. I think this, this one's okay as well. Nothing special happens, it's just you see Daisy Circuit is just, you know, Luigi and Daisy, you know, dancing, of course... I think there's also Baby Luigi and Baby Daisy. Maybe that's just the remake of this track. I don't remember. But overall, the track is just simple. Nothing really special about it. It's not meh. It's okay. Um, it's just an okay track. Uh, let's see. I'm trying, to, trying to see if I can remember some of this. Okay, so the... I guess this is another Moo Moo Meadows thing. This one's meh. It's a just... It's just meh. It's just another track that's based off the farms. Of course, the cows get involved this time. And, of course, you got little hops here and there. But, overall, it's nothing crazy in, in my in my book. It's just, it's just meh. All right, next up, um, let's see. I think the moon, moon something track. This one, I think, was okay as well. It's, it's kind of like Toad's Turnpike. I know that people like this one more than Toad's Turnpike. But, for me, it's just, it's an okay track. Is it okay, Dragon? Of course, try to learn how to... You know what? Actually, I'll change my mind. I'll put it great. It's like like a low grade to a freaking a high okay. But I'll put it in great. Like, now I'm thinking about it. It does teach you how to use the motion controllers. But yet again, I use the GameCube because no. I will never use the motion controls. Even though motion controls helps you more if you're using the motorcycle. But anyway. Um, yeah, I do like the idea. Um, of course, you're going through the tunnels, and of course, again, avoiding the vehicles that now has bombs in the way. Um, yeah, overall, it's, it's great. I'll give it that. I know I changed my mind, but you know what? That's what happens when you're actually thinking about the track. Okay. Oh, God. Coconut Mall. It's okay. I know I'm probably going to catch hell from this, but let's be honest. I think you guys only like Coconut Mall because of the music. Now, if we're going to buy music, obviously, it's going to go up. But the track itself is just okay. You're driving through a mall, um, dealing with escalators. Of course, you got cars coming in the way. But overall, it's just an okay track to me. It's just an okay track. I don't care if I catch hell for it. It's my opinion. So, sorry, but no. Um, let's see. Wario's Gold Mine. I actually think this one's great. I love the idea of a gold mine. Um, the fact we're racing on a train track instead of a regular track. Dealing with bats and, of course, the carts that are going by with gold in it. Yeah, I mean, you got boost as well. I mean, overall, it's not a bad track. And of course, the scenery looks great. And that's the thing, too. You got to think about the scenery. And, of course, you know, obviously, I know I put Coconut Mall when you got scenery of the shops and whatnot and the Mies. But for me, it's just, I don't know. But, yeah, it's great for the Royal Gold Mine. Um, let's see. What else is there? I think the Royal Raceway, this one's called. This one's... I'm trying, I'm trying to remember the whole track. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's kind of like between like a great and okay as well. But overall, yeah, I think I like that track a bit because you're dealing with Goombas. I think it changed. Yeah, the chain jumps in there too. And of course, you see the castle in the distance, and there are a lot of people around, so I kind of like that a lot. So let's move on from there. Um. Oh, yeah, we got Zoo. Donkey Kong's freaking ice thing. Freaking love that. Where you actually learn how to do the tricks and whatnot. Of course, if you're using a GameCube, you're not doing tricks. But with a Wii Remote, yeah, absolutely love that freaking track so much. And of course, it came back on Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, so. That explains it. Alright, um, let's see what else is here. I think this is another... Yeah, there's another Luigi's Raceway. This one's just okay as well. It's kind of weird why Luigi always gets the okay tracks, to be honest. I don't know why. But his is more like an introduction 
kind of thing to the tracks. And again, it looks great. It's just going through the track is just normal. You got a little one little hop over there, and of course, I love the idea of the track like going sideways like that. And of course, the boosts are there. But overall, it's just an okay track. <clears throat> All right, Toad's Factory. I love this freaking thing. I'm putting up here with favorite. I love the whole thing. You get to see all the crap that toads are doing. The bridges are moving around. And of course, and you got like mud and with the, the track moving around too where you can get the boosts and then hopping over at the end. Freaking love the idea of that. The toads just running around too. It's pretty great too. Um, let's see what's next. Uh, the maple tree thing. I don't, I don't remember what that one's called. I like this one a lot. It's great. I love the idea of seeing the two Wigglers running around, going through the trees. Um, and of course, your two end sections of shooting out, I guess. Um, not shooting out, but the, the boost at the end going over into the finish line. Yeah. And of course, the freaking, I guess the trampoline, I guess, you know, or the net that boosts you up. Yeah. Overall, I love the design of that. And of course, it reminds you of autumn, the fall, basically, the fall season. So overall, it's pretty good. Koopa C uh, Cape, I, I love Koopa Cape, I just love that track so much, um, going through the water areas and going underwater, seeing the creatures around you while you're racing away and then shooting right up, of course Goombas are there as well, and of course doing some like here and there tricks, but overall it's a pretty good design for a racetrack, I love when they go a little bit nuts with it, um, Excuse me, kind of a little under the water for what weather, under the weather. So excuse me for that. <clears throat> um, yeah, the desert one. I'm not remembering the name of it, but this one I I like as well. This is a good design for a track. Um, being careful with the desert. Of course, the bats are in the way. There are jumps here and there. Pillars following, uh, falling. Um, and of course, each time you finish a lap, the do uh, the sand gets fills the room much more and the last lap it's like full you really gotta go around or hope to have a mushroom to go push yourself through that and of course the shortcut as well and then do it at the end of the track if you have a mushroom to help you through so yeah it goes to great um yeah the volcano thing this to me is a meh didn't really care too much about the track. I mean, it looks great. It's just, I, I, this is not, to me, this is not fun. I don't like the design of the track, and of course, the parts of the tracks do fall off, which I think is interesting. Then you got the lava stuff, jumping around, attacking you. Or not really attacking you, but they'll come around. Um, it's just an okay track, but, or not okay, it's just meh. Um, but I will put over the, uh, the farm one for sure. All right, next up, we've got Bowser's Castle. I'm trying to remember. Is this the one with the machine? Or is this the one with the statue on the side? Or Overall, I think Bowser's Castle is great regardless. It's always, like, great or favorite with Bowser's Castle for some freaking reason because it's that good. Um, of course, the music's great. The track is... I mean, for God's sakes, look at that face. You're going in freaking Bowser's Castle like that. So overall, I do like that castle a lot. Rainbow Road. Uh, yeah. I think this is one of my favorite Rainbow Roads to drive. Because I'm actually trying to remember, like, which Rainbow Road this one is again. Because there are some Rainbow Roads that fuck no. Um, but yeah, overall, this one is a good one. I do love the jumps around. Uh, the turns you gotta deal with. And you gotta be very careful. And of course, the little bumps on the road. Of course driving around because there's holes there like it's supposed to be in rainbow road it's supposed to be hard this is the last track of your mario kart experience and yeah it's a good one i actually like that more and i'm surprised there's not uh there's no fucking no out of this out of this uh, mario kart stuff overall these tracks were just like okay or good just two meds was just the for uh the farm in the the volcano area overall great game Right game. Of course, a lot of people say Mario Kart Wii, or basically Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart Wii is like the top two out of the Mario Kart series. That's what a lot of people will say, and I kind of have to agree with them, for sure. 
But anyway, that is going to do it for this tier list. If you guys have any complaints, well, not really complaints, like your opinions on which tribe you think is supposed to be where. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of people will say, Coconut Mall, S tier. Not to me, buddy. Not. You just like the soundtrack to it. That's about it. But anyway, that's going to do it for this. So until then, my fellow gargoyles, see you guys next time.